everybody, my name is Francisco Aguirre. Welcome to another episode, and this one's more of a PSA rather than actually a gameplay episode. Let's go. Whew. Well, mostly about this episode, I want to talk to you talk to you about some shady things that some ROM developers are doing. Um, I'm personally against this, but I really do see the benefit of this. But they're actually limiting you, limit limiting you the apps that you can actually install on your ROM. What do I mean by this? Well, if we go down to Root Explorer and we try to install, let's say, Lucky Patcher, install, next, install, we will get this message in the bottom of the screen that says anti piracy software activated. And the app will be uninstalled. As you can see, the open button right by next to the red button is shaded out and I can't tap it. I can click done, but not that. And if you go outside and go into the app drawer, it's no longer there. There is a way around this, but you do need the exposed installer on. Uh, so far, I have tested this on a 5.0 and 5.1.1 ROMs. It works. But the anti-piracy software is mostly in implemented in 5.1.1. I have seen only one ROM that has it on 5.0 which is another variation of the ice, ice code project but let's get to the ROM yeah app sorry well it's called disable anti-piracy you just have to have that activated and and reboot your device once you reboot your device it should work then now I'll be And we're back. I just rebooted my phone right now, and I'm just gonna go right back into Root Explorer, back to where I had my APK thing. Now, let's say if I want to go back to Lucky Patcher and install it now, that message will now be gone. Oh, come on, folder mount, you're blocking my stuff. Oh, folder mount. So now the application is fully installed and fully working. I could go back into the application, and it'll work fine. It'll even ask me for super root permissions. It's something that I personally do not enjoy that ROM developers are doing this because I feel Android is an open source software that you can do whatever you want. It's not Apple. It shouldn't be like Apple because it's not Apple. I mean, you see other OEMs like Samsung, HTC, let this happen. They don't because they know that they know that Android is open source. That's <laughs> that will make the OS an AOSP. It has to be that way because, well, well, take for instance the Reddit incident that happened when people started getting pissed off at the CEO because of certain things were happening. People don't like being controlled. People don't like knowing that they do stuff that they like that are being blocked and hindered. I mean. And yeah, I, I'm trying. What I'm saying is pretty much trying to defend, um, trying to defend piracy. But still, honestly, piracy is what gets me to buy, actually buy these stuff. I mean, the lucky, the Nova Launcher Prime, the Titanium Backup Explorer, all those stuff. I pirated them before, but I I fell in love with them to the point where I actually had to buy them. I mean. I go through all these applications, all, I mean, it's just like testing waters. I mean, Google does give you a 30 minute window to return your stuff, but 30 minutes for me is not enough. I go through all these apps and I'm like, hmm, give me more time with this. Let me explore. Let me feel it. And I do. And I eventually buy these apps that I fall in love with. I mean, Titanium Backup Pro, Nova Launcher Prime. Root Explorer, all apps that you have to buy in order for them to work properly, and I buy them without hesitation. Yeah, Flashify, I have patched that one. I did patch that one, but I am eventually gonna buy that one. I'm just right now, I'm poor. I mean, I don't know, but just an opinion and just a workaround. I'll leave the link to the. I'll leave a link to the expose. For both for the 5.0 and Lollipop and hell even the Samsung versions and I also give a link to this specific application in the description oh and if you do like the music that's jamming out in the background I also give a link to that in my 
link to that and my SoundCloud in the description. Maybe you'll find some music that, that you like. By the way, all that music, 100% homemade. Well, except for some parts. Well, remixes, come on. You, you can't make remixes from scratch. But yeah, that's been my, that's been, it's been, it's been good, y'all. My name is Francisco Aguirre, a.k.a. Favitz, signing out. Bye.